Hello, you lovely lot. Well, following on from yesterday's um, video on the Pioneer PL12D, a classic 70s record player, here's another one. So uh, I thought I'd do like a little walk around buyer's guide on the uh, the Goldring Lenko GL75. Now, uh, again, it's a massively popular record player, Swiss made, um, came out originally in 1968. Uh, it was the L75 because it was a Lenko 75, but the Goldring marketed it in the UK, hence the Goldring Lenko thing. Um, idler wheel driven like like a Garrard 401 or a 301. Um, so you've got the idler underneath the platter that drives the platter from underneath. Um, you've got um, infinite speed adjustment from 33 right up to 78. And you can stop it at any point. So you can actually technically mix on these because you've got pitch adjustment. And I do believe they were used in the film Saturday Night Fever as well. The DJ had a pair of these. Goldwyn Linkos and actually mixed vinyl um, in a disco on one of these, so uh, or on two of these. Um, the arm, so I'm going to go through a few little bits on it. So the arm, you'll notice this is an unrestored model that came in today, hasn't had any work done to it, so it, it's good because I can show you the issues. So if I twist the head shell, you can see the whole arm moves at a pivot point on the arm there. So in there are two things called V blocks. They are a bearing that basically it's a V cut in two bits of plastic, um, and the, um, the, the the cross point on the bearing sits on there, and it pivots on those things. Now, the, those little um, plastic bearings, they crumble over the years. Um, they're non-existent in this one, because you can tell, because it's just not supporting it. Um, you can buy various types of V-blocks. You can buy Delrin ones, you can buy normal plastic ones, rubber ones, and brass ones. We would um, recommend the Delrin ones, you can get them, I think, now for for about sort of fourteen to twenty pounds, something like that, on eBay. There's very varying amounts of them on there. I think the the Delrin ones might not be available now, but there are three D printed printed ones uh, that you can use. And you literally just unscrew the top uh, of the bearing housing, drop them in, glue them in, and Bob's your uncle. They work. Um, so that that cures that that issue. Also, when you turn these on, if they've not been used for a little while, plastic doesn't really do much. It takes a hell of a long time to get to. Uh, um, into motion now it's because that's a very very heavy platter um, driven by an idler if I can get this off without using a bit of wood there we go so there's your idler wheel this one has a two hole idler Lenko collectors they like the five hole idlers um, there is different versions of the plastic one which is normally a bit noisier this has the two hole one which is fine but the one that people like is, is the five hole one um, <clears throat> here is the underside of the platter so that wheel connects with the underside of the platter and drives it now over the years you see this has got fingerprints on and stuff a bit of grime they get a, a bit grime in if you um use very very fine wet and dry um sort of 640 and just give the surface of that a little bit of a uh, a buffing up um it helps to grip the idler also clean the idler edge with isopropyl alcohol um so everything's nice and clean and a new surface and that will kick in nicely and uh, it'll drive it with some torque um, yeah, anything else to mention under there? I guess the wiring is very, very basic on these and it's quite easy to, to change the interconnect and the mains cable by lifting that block up, changing them, and there you've got better cables. Um, the lid stays often break. This is the, the full size pl plinth one. Here is a smaller one as well. This has the lid stay in the three points. Um, that should have a little bar across there which has fallen off a cosmetic sort of silver bar. Um, there you go, let's put this one back together. They can sound very, very good. In fact, when you've done them, they are um, a formidable piece of kit and will take on a lot of other turntables a lot more expensive. Um, there are various um, websites you can visit. One of the best one is Lenko Heaven. Uh, that is a website with thousands of people on it that are dedicated to the modification and restoration of these decks. Uh, there is all, there's lots of things on there. You can double stack the platter. You can raise the arms up. You can change the arms. Um, there is all sorts of modifications. There's some lovely plinths you can buy. And there's links to the plinths on, on Lenko Heaven. And um, little write-ups of how people have restored their, their record players. Um, there we go. There's, other, there's another site um, called Audio Shite. I know it's a funny name, but uh, there's a lot of Lenko enthusiasts on there. Um, and if you see a guy um, advertising one of these for sale called Ben Rombo, then yeah, buy one of Ben's because Ben uh, restores a lot of them. In fact, he gets a lot of me uh, and he does a very, very good job on those. 
So yeah, the Lenko, a formidable record player really, once you've spent a little bit of time and TLC on it. Um, nice things, you can buy new lids as well. Yes, I can mention that actually, is the Audio Technica lid you can buy off eBay, with a slight blue tinge that fits perfectly on these. So a lot of them have Audio Technica lids. Um, there you go. Hope that wasn't too rambly. Um, when we get some more interesting bits, I'll, I'll talk you through a few other things. Cheers, thank you.